All right, here we are. We're uh, in Yosemite, and um, I just as I'm sitting here thinking, I think we should have done more commentary. And then my second thought is, is who cares? People love hearing our commentary, Doug. You know yeah, that. exactly. We're very interesting. Yeah. So anyway, um, this is kind of the kind of the uh, bookend of our trip here. And we're um, just past Tioga Pass. Tioga Pass is open. Um, it was closed on coming over, so we had to go over Sonora Pass, but we're going over Tioga. And uh, they, they just opened it on Friday. Today's Monday. So, um, as you can see, there's probably, uh, we'll pan around here in a second. There's not much snow left. Uh, it's melted and it's warm. And uh, I'm going to give, uh, move this over to Greg here. Hi. All right. All right, man. So we had a good trip here. What are we looking at, Greg? What do you point us out? Looking here? at a little uh, blast from the past over there, straight yonder. Okay. Um, a little over a year ago, we went hiking out there to Clouds Rest. Yeah, oh, there it is. Um, which is a tremendous, challenging and tremendous hike. Um, where we can look out on pretty much the whole Yosemite Valley. You see Half Dome right, right over there. Um, yeah. As if, as if, as if Death Valley wasn't spectacular enough, we decided that we had to come back here and take a final shot before going home. Yeah, it's nice. It's perfect now. It's like probably like 50 degrees. Yeah, yeah. And it couldn't sunny. be a day in November to be out and about. There's not a cloud in the sky. Yep. All right, man. So, um, what's your what's give me give me some uh, some some Greg's thoughts on uh, Yosemite? No, I mean not Yosemite. The whole trip. The like, whole trip. I mean. You know, bad things can happen when you're traveling through Mother Nature, especially in the in the in the you know late in the fall. But uh, nothing. This is the whole. All the stars lined up perfectly on this one. Um, everything that could go well went well, pretty much. Um, this is a this is a bonus right here, icing on the cake. But seeing Death Valley, we did everything we wanted to do. Um, I saw things that you know I'd never been there before, and saw things that were better than I could have imagined. Um, from the Big Doll Mine to Fall Canyon to the final final night over at, at the racetrack, just all of it is a 10 out of 10 on the awesomeness scale. And uh, yeah, one of the best trips I've ever had for sure. Right on, man. So it's always good to be able to kind of cap off a good trip with a a pretty epic uh, pretty epic finish like this. But this is kind of chill. We had a little bit of fun this morning. Um, as uh, I was telling Greg, I said, I think the road home is going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, and we ended up on a 30 degree grade uh, that hit the bottom of our outback. Yeah, yeah. Many times. You know, yeah, like I said, bad things can go wrong. And uh, Were you nervous? Um, I would have been more nervous if I were driving. Uh, I know you could, you're more You nervous. had faith in me? You know, I, That's very I nice. Yeah, I don't have faith in you and everything, but but uh, you know that kind of drive uh, better you than me. So yeah, all right. Yeah, it, it, you know, it got my attention, but uh, I was never that nervous. Right, but it yeah. is bumpy as hell. Oh, it was bumpy. Yeah. That's one way to say it. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we um, we're wrapping up this trip. We have to all go back to work and do jobs. Greg's gonna write a story about this, and if uh, you. Uh, actually are listening past this point which is probably not the only people are going to do that are our family not our friends because yeah. our friends are smart enough to realize right. that we don't have much interesting to say yep but yeah i mean california is kind of shitty you can see it like we've we've got lots of pictures and photographic evidence of how pathetic this place is and you know california keeps getting the short end of the shrift shift here on the uh i don't know what is that shrift or shrift? I think it's a stick Short end of the stick? Yeah. You can get the shrift, but I don't, I don't think the stick gets the shrift. What does the shrift mean? The shrift is like like the shaft, kind of. Yeah. There's me with zero command of the English language <laughs> trying to commentate. That's why we don't do more of these. <laughs> so California kind of gets crapped on in the news of being this, you know, disaster place. But as you can see, we've got uh, just a lot of its beauty here. So anyway, uh, hey, Greg, any, any last thoughts before I, I turn this off? Uh, yeah, nature rules. That's all, right. all I have to say. That's a bumper sticker. Yeah. All right, um, 
All right, everybody. Thank you. This rocked. Bye.